Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. I just wanted to apologize for not uploading in a little over a week. It's just been really chaotic at my house. Today, I am going to be showing off my Chucky collection and I'm going to be doing it from least favorite to most favorite. So starting off with the least favorite, we got a Pop Funko of Chucky from Bride of Chucky right here. Now the detail on him is just really nice, but then again, he's just a Pop Funko. He's holding his little ax right there and you see all these rips and dirt smudges on his overalls, his clothes all these stitches, staples, that exposed eye, and the crack in his face. That right there is pretty cool, but then again, this is just the Funkos. Of course, I'm gonna put the Funkos at my least favorite. Then we got Tiffany from Bride of Chucky. We got her in her little wedding dress outfit. Her bleached hair, which you kind of see the roots coming up here, which is pretty, pretty fine detail. And overall, I really like this. And you see, she's got a badass leather jacket, knife. This right here is pretty cool. And then we got the Child's Play 2 Chucky, where he's basically about to cut off the head of the Jack in the Box. You know, that iconic poster for Child's Play 2? Sorry, Jack. Chucky's back. This is hands down probably my favorite Funko out of all these guys. And if you guys are curious about what I do with these Pop Funko figures, I literally just put them on my uh, computer desk for uh, decoration. They're like little desk toys. Okay, next up to bat is this NECA action figure collection from the original Child's Play movies. Now this covers a lot of movies like from the first movie and the second movie and I think third movie maybe. Here we got all his accessories from all the original movies. We even got an iconic looking head right there and I really like that one the best because it really showcases how he becomes more human like the longer he's in the doll. And my favorite accessory is probably the yardstick because in Child's Play 2 he beat the teacher to death with a yardstick. He's even got his knife hand right there, a voodoo knife, a bat, which he hit handy across the head with. There's a hammer, which I think he knocked the babysitter out of the window in the first movie with. Then you got the shaving tool, which he killed the military barber in Child's Play 3. Presto, you're bald. Presto, you're dead. Next up is another NECA action figure. This is Chucky from the official TV show on sci-fi and here we got we got the melted face whenever he was in that burning house at the house party when he tried to kill uh lexi i think that's her name lexi <laughs> Got a damaged arm right there, his middle finger, a couple extra hands. Ooh, those are the syringes, a kitchen knife, and well, I really like this one, and I should give you guys a hot take on my thoughts on the Chucky TV show. The first season of Chucky is hands down the best season. I feel like it was the strongest season at that point. Then season two was kind of uh, okay. I mean, made a lot of digs at uh, Christianity and whatnot, and honestly, I didn't find a lot of the humor in that, in that season to be funny. And season three was amazing up until the point of the final episode, which was a complete letdown. So I hope that Chucky gets season four just so Don Mancini can fix what the hell he did. Up next is the final NECA figure Chucky set that I got. This is Bride of Chucky, and this happens to be my favorite NECA Chucky set I got. So let's try to open that. Of course, we got Tiffany along with Chucky and all these amazing weapons and Easter eggs that were from Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky movies. We even got the original head whenever he tr first transferred uh, Tiffany into uh, the doll. We got her in a crazed look in her face and crazy looking hair a little bit. I feel like the hair's a little different there than it is there. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. Yeah, there's a bunch of little Easter eggs in here, which I love. All right, we are in the final bits of the video here where I'm showing you guys my most favorite pieces to my Chucky collection. 
Here is my Spencer's Chucky doll. This is the first ever official Chucky doll I bought myself. And honestly, it was a good starter Chucky. Of course, they modeled him after the Bride and Sita Chucky movies. I mean, not really a bad design. I really like that design. But here's my little hot take. I think him looking like a plain ordinary doll is more terrifying than that. So this is just kind of goofy compared to that. But of course, we got some dirt smudges, rips in his clothes here. Overall, I do think the doll's a little derpy and off looking compared to what he should be. And I did accidentally leave him in the window where the sun was exposing to him. And I accidentally bleached his hair. So yeah, some of it looks green. Some looks like it's trying to turn blonde. I mean, the shoes are great. And yeah, this is uh, my Spencer's Chucky doll. Up next, we got the entire Chucky collection of all the movies. We got Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and it cuts off on the DVD pack here. And I got the unrated version of Cult of Chucky. Now, the only thing I do not have on DVD are the three seasons of the Chucky show, which is available for me to get, but um, haven't gotten to getting them yet. My best friend, Mutant Florida Man, actually uh, gave me these because these were his old ones and he got a bunch of Blu-ray ones. So he decided to give the extra ones to me since he knows I'm a pretty big Chucky fan. The next to last piece of my Chucky collection is this, the Heart of Doombala. This is actually from Trick or Treat Studios. Love the details, all the materials made for it. It's legit metal, has a really good chain right here. And I love the little gem right there. This is really accurate to, I think it was first introduced in the Bride of Chucky movie. And maybe it was in the Seed of Chucky movie. I'm not too sure, but really love this piece. And I do want to give a quick shout out to my best friend, Mutant Florida Man. He actually uh, sold me a majority of the Chucky stuff I own, like from the NECA dolls, the Pop Funkos, and the last piece of this collection, including this. So, for the final piece of my collection, this is the holy grail of it all. My Trick or Treat Studios Seed of Chucky Chucky doll. Now, he has a foam body, and my best friend, Mutant Florida Man, is the one who sold it to me, and he advised me not to fiddle with his posability too much, because it it can have the uh, tendency to possibly break if I do, and I don't want to do that, so I just keep him posed like that. That looks pretty cool. He also did tell me to be careful of the hair and the eyebrows, because it is prone to fall out, and, you know, this is a very delicate doll, and it's actually older, because he, he had this for a while, and then he sold it to me because he wanted to get rid of some extra stuff that he had in his room and he already got another Chucky doll from that website before they quit making and selling the Chucky dolls on Trick or Treat Studios. Now I was ecstatic when he offered to sell me this so I'm actually happy I invested that money into this because this is awesome. I love all the details on him. The amazing details on his rotten teeth right there. That is awesome. And I love the eyebrows on them. And honestly, I uh, got a little funny story to tell you guys. One time I decided to get the brilliant idea to pose Chucky up next to the toilet in my bathroom. And then I went to my sister Nola and I said, hey Nola, you gotta go to the bathroom and clean up your mess by the toilet. She fell for it when she walked in. She immediately started screaming because the doll was there and ran and I quickly tried to bolt out with the doll and put it back in my room. My mom was not happy to the point where she actually confiscated the doll until she believes I learned my lesson from scaring my sister. In her defense, yeah, she told me not to scare anyone with a doll and I did it anyway, so that's kind of my bad on my part. So yeah, guys, you made it to the end of my video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, AB, out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.